Howdy folks, Matt Chapman here with Excel Physics. Um, I'm going to show everybody a quick video on how to solder. Um, so you've gotten, you've received your um, APOC Mini Radiation Detector Kit, and maybe you're not that good at soldering yet, and you want to get better. Um, I'm going to do a quick little demo on how to do that, some of the basics, um, and, and also the tools that you're going to want. You're going to want a pair of scissors. You're going to want some electrical tape. Um, I recommend high temp and or thicker if you can get it, uh, like the Super 33 made by 3M or the Super 88 are great choices. You're going to want some wire cutters. Um, these are made by Hacko. They're outstanding. They're four, five bucks. Um, some masking tape would make this make it a lot easier if you can get it. Or um, uh, the clear cello tape works fine too. Um, and solder. You want, ideally you want a very very thin wire. Um, this is 0.022 inch um, and the thinner is nice because it doesn't ha uh, overdo it on uh, the amount of solder. Um, also if you can get leaded solder where you live use it. It's much easier to work with. It is um, um, you might want to wear gloves if you do leaded. Uh, I wear gloves um, because it prevents contamination of the board. It lasts longer that way. You don't by any means have to wear them. It's just a personal preference. Um, all right, let's go over the basics of soldering. So um, for the demo, I'm going to um, use the circuit board that came with the uh, APOC Mini Radiation Detector Kit um, and the parts. So we can go ahead and start the assembly this way. Um, so the first step is the photodiodes. Um, your kit should have come with seven of them. Um, so the way that you arrange them is there is a very uh, thin silver bar on the side. It corresponds to the little bar on the, um, the uh, solder mask. The, the soak screen. Um, also keep in mind that it, they, the photodiodes go on the opposite side of the board of all the other parts. Um, another thing, way to tell the orientation, there's a tiny little tab on one of the pins and I've added a little marker on the, um, the soak screen to show the orientation. Um, it's nice to start from the center and move out. So, and keep, keep that orientation the same. They're all going to point in the same direction. So silver. So with the board pointing up, the silver bar, the silver line, should be on the left. Um, if the board is uh, pointing away from you, okay. So we place. And again, if you're unsure about the um, the part numbers uh, corresponding to the part positions on the board, look up the uh, bill of materials in the in the uh, written instructions on the website on excelphysics.com. Um, that is the way to know for sure where parts go by their part value, um, especially with the resistors because they're indicated by color, and we have that all written out on the uh, bill of materials. Okay, so I've placed all of the photodiodes and I've double checked that they're all pointing in the same direction. So the way that we assemble them to keep them consistent, we take a piece of uh, masking tape, um, painters, blue painter's tape is great too uh, because it won't leave any residue. Um, lay the tape down. Um, and then this ensures that the photodiodes stay flush with the board and that's going to make a better cleaner product later. Um, another thing is if you don't have a helping hand to hold your circuit board, a trick that I do is I take a piece of tape, loop it back on itself, and then stick the board onto the table. Um, now in terms of your iron, Something important is um, if you have a piece of sponge, get it wet 
um, and uh, clean the tip. And if you have a brass um, a brass ball, uh, clean keep your tip clean. Clean it often, and it will produce better solder. Uh, produce better solder joints. Um, Um, and keep some paper towel handy too. That, that's also a good technique. If you have a solder, uh, a brass ball like this, it, it's a solder tip cleaner. This one's made by Hacko. Great little thing to have. Um, all right, so got my tip nice and clean. It's shiny. Um, I run this particular iron at 750 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, pretty hot. So you, you do have to be careful if you run it that hot because it's po it's possible to pull a pad off. Um, but the benefit is that the soldering is fast. So now how to actually solder. So um, what what I do is I spool out a, a couple of inches and um, you want to make sure to heat up the pad and uh, when the solder hits the pin it should flow all the way around the pad and that's important it needs to go all the way around if if it does not go all the way around go ahead and hit it again and it will um, you also want to apply the uh, you want to apply the solder to the opposite side of the pin so I've soldered half of them now I'm gonna um, Um, and then every once in a while, make sure to clean your tip with your sponge or your solder ball.